Welcome back. I'm Tommy, the Angry Craftsman, and today I brought along my boss, Lois. She's the one that's going to keep me in check, uh, and she tries her damnedest on a daily basis. Sometimes it doesn't work. So today we are going to do something a little different, and I want to talk to y'all, or I should say we want to talk to y'all about Thunder Laser USA's tech support. Um, there's questions are asked all the time on the Facebook pages of why should you buy a Thunder, um, and tech support comes up regularly, so we're going to cover a few things about tech support. Um, hopefully, we won't say anything that pisses them off, but if we do, so be it. Uh, if the truth hurts, then they can learn to get over it and be a damn adult. Uh, before I continue on, uh, they are not paying me to do this shit. Uh, they have no nickels in what I say, so we shall get on. Let's talk about tech support. Um, it's comprised of three people. Uh, well, Chris, Chris, and Brian. And we'll leave it at that. If you know who they are, then great. If not, it's Chris, Chris, and Brian. They are remote throughout the U.S. Uh, they are not specific to the headquarters in Texas. Uh, and they provide a lifetime of support for you as the owner of these Thunders. Uh, both her and I have both used and talked with tech support. Uh, they, they're great, um, sometimes a little confusing, but for the most part, they are great. So what does tech support offer? Uh, when you buy a Thunder, again, you get lifetime support, you get their knowledge base. Uh, for my, and this is where opinions will, will vary, on the knowledge base. Uh, Explain what the knowledge base yeah, is. Yeah, the website, thank you. The website. Um, she's more proficient at it than I am, she's on there all the time. So uh, it comprises of a bunch of articles, uh, how-tos, uh, troubleshooting, steps to fix things. Uh, some of the articles are, how do I put it? They're written in extreme detail. Uh, maybe a little too much tech de detail for, for some people, but I know as time goes on, they're working on them. Uh, there's been a few that you've been a little confused by. Yeah, there's there's some that I, I tried to read, and I'm like, this is gobbledygook, a language I don't understand. Um, I need stuff broken down a little bit more simply. Um, so they're they're working on, on also doing that for those of us that don't speak the tech languages. Um, on top of the knowledge base, their their support system is basically driven through emails. You, what is it? Support at thunderlaserusa.com. Thunderlaserusa.com if you are a U.S. based customer. Otherwise, your stuff will go to China. Um, or whatever it may be in your, your country. Like you said, I can only speak to, you know, Thunder Laser USA. It's an email driven system. Uh, you email them your question, give them as much detail as possible, uh, and then they respond back. Usually they're linking articles. Um, or they have other documentation uh, that they'll link to you. Um, again, these machines are designed to be user-friendly. They're designed to be end-user uh, capable of doing maintenance, troubleshooting, repairs, things of that nature. Um, and, and that's what they strive to do. Uh, I know she runs the lasers 90-some percent of the time. It's not me. Uh, I'm just a pretty face behind the camera uh, and the profanity. So um, the, the email system, um, again, goes back and forth so that you can figure it out. Now, with that being said, they're referring back to the knowledge base. So if you start at the knowledge base, it might be a little bit beneficial. Um, how would you describe their search function in the knowledge base? Um, I think it's pretty good. I've usually been able to find what I'm what I'm looking for. I may have to try um, and change some words, just like when you do use any search engine. And for me, I am not the guy to search on the internet, so I struggle because I'm usually using the wrong words. Uh, so, but I generally have a clue. But in reality, I'm her tech support, um, unless I can't do it. And then there's a few times that the next thing for tech support, the remote sessions. I know they do a remote session for your one hour training, which that's offered. Um, we've had some technical 
IP address issues because we run Mac uh, and Macs should be run through Ethernet cables. Um, we've had those issues, so they have remoted in and made the corrections. The only downfall I can say to that is they move so damn fast through your computer that I couldn't follow along what they were doing. Um, so when we set up our second laser, we had the same problem all over again because we didn't learn from what they were doing the first time. And it may now be somewhere in the knowledge base. I haven't honestly looked to try and find if those instructions are in there. Um, so the remote sessions are great. Um, I know when we got the fiber, uh, we had a quick remote session to make sure that some of the the issues that we were having with the Macs came through. Um, they do, if I remember correctly, and please don't quote me on this, uh, Grant will probably have my ass if I'm wrong. So on ground, they they do have an on ground service or a technician that will show up to, to help you. However, it's rather expensive. I think the last thing I heard was about $1,000 a day plus all expenses. So um, that is something that they are willing to do if you are willing to pay for it. You have a few others um, where we have the ability to travel. Uh, some of the other people out there will do, I don't want to say Zoom meetings and stuff like that to help you with things. So th there are other avenues, but know that they offer that support. Um, I know some of the other laser companies offer it uh, as well, and it's talked about in other Facebook groups. Um, the one thing that people do complain about is phone support. They have very limited, if none at all, phone support. Uh, I understand completely why they why they do it this way. It is very inefficient. Uh, we used to you own a Boss Laser, and that's how Boss really did their tech support, was you called in, and then you sat on hold for however long, and then somebody popped up, or you, got left, a, you left a message, and you hoped that they called you back in a timely manner. They also have email support as well that I remember. So it is very in, inefficient. Uh, we were having sh issues at that time with the boss, and it was a two-hour phone call. Well, if I'm if they're on the phone with me for two hours, that's two hours they're not able to help probably 30 other people with the email support. So for them, um, the efficiency of email is fantastic. If it comes down to it, they do the, uh, the remote sessions and things of that nature if you just can't get it right. Um, and that's on them to decide. I have no nickels in any of it, so <coughs> excuse me. Uh, <coughs> but you also have to remember, too, they are handling training. So at the same time, you know, you're sending in a, a trouble ticket. You have one of them probably doing an hour training with somebody. You have one of them either repairing a machine or on a sales call. You have, and then that leaves, what, one guy to answer probably 30 tickets an hour, if not more. Uh, so you, you got to understand how things work. I, I know a lot of old farts like me want to pick up the damn phone and call. But uh, like me, I got to get over myself and, and move on with it. So um, there, you know, some of them at times are, are writing documentation, you know, reevaluating the knowledge base and things of that nature. So... But on another note, you know, with tech support, Facebook is not tech support. If your machine is on fire or something equally as scary, don't go to Facebook. <laughs> Send a support ticket in. 40 people on Facebook that probably don't know their ass from a hole in the ground are going to answer you. Let the three guys that know what the hell they're talking about do it. Yes, you'll see her and I answer, you know, Facebook questions. Um, but by no means am I, or are we pre pretending to be their tech support? No. Um, so just, just kind of remember that. And that's my two cents worth about that. <laughs> so I do know that, uh, the other day they were talking about, uh, updating their website. Some people have complained that you have to make a phone call to sales or you have to email sales to buy a part or a lens or whatnot to help uh, yourself. <laughs> I know they are working on an e-commerce site and their website to include uh, maybe the ability to just order lasers that way. You pick what you want. Um, now, as far as the sales teams for that, every time I've had a conversation with them, they've been fantastic. Um, 
I typically deal with Grant, the sales manager, but I've never dealt with Rhonda, uh, but I've heard nothing but great things. And then one of the other assistants, and I cannot remember. Aubrey, Aubrey thank you. Mm -hmm. um, that was fantastic every time we needed to order something. Uh, so it's a it's relatively easy. You know, I know the last time I needed something, I sent an email to, is it admin at thunderlaserusa.com? I need this. And they sent me the estimate, the invoice or whatever, and I went through those processes of uh, having to pay. That is a royal pain in the ass. Having to agree to something and then figure out, you know, to pay for it and whatnot. So hopefully when they get this website, the e-commerce site up and running, that it'll be quick and easy um, to, to do. Um, support has, just as a reminder too, support has experience with, with all computers. Uh, some of them run Windows, some of them run Linux, uh, Windows, the whole nine yards. Mac. Mac, yes. Um, so the make sure when you're you're sending in a, a, a trouble ticket, specifically to let them know what computer you're using. Uh, that will help determine who answers you or the in-depth conversation that you get. Uh, yes, I get made fun of all the time. She gets made fun of all the time because we use nothing but Mac. Uh, so, you know, it happens. Don't get your panties in a ruffle. Uh, tech support also has, what, a YouTube channel? I've, or I should say it's not tech support. It's, it's all part of the one channel, isn't it? Yeah, Thunder Laser USA has their YouTube channel. But on there, you can see the bi-weekly webinars. Uh, so you have tech support on there and a variety of us. It's a good place to go and be bored for an hour at a time, but maybe you'll pull some good information out of it um, or join in uh, every other week. Every, that... other, every other Thursday at um, 4 o'clock Eastern, 3 o'clock Central, because that's where the, the main tech support that hosts it is in Central Time Zone. Um, before we got our thunders or when we were waiting or whatever, um, we started watching a lot of those videos. And yes, there's times where we're just kind of like waiting for somebody to pop pipe up with a question or, or a topic that week or whatever. But there is actually really good information in there um, that that is, is really helpful to people. And if you, you have a question and you want to talk to someone about it, it's a good place to do that as well. Um, and then I know sales also, I know this is a tech support thing, but sales also has their own, um, uh, monthly or so webinar that I think they're doing now. Yeah. Their sales webinar. Cause yeah. I think the, the first one was a month or so ago. Yeah. Um, uh, and then the other one was, was delayed a little, a week right. or so. Um, so that's another place for, for sales questions. You know, maybe you're already dedicated thunder, um, but you're looking at one of the other machines and you'd like to have some, some questions answered. That's the place to go for that. Uh, the the to me the neat thing about the the support uh, guys are they do product testing, so I know that if you send them products or you coordinate and send them products, they will test them for you to see if they're capable of being cut or engraved on a CO two laser, a fiber, a UV. Um, you work with them and they will you know help you decide, okay, well, I need a, I need whatever cut, you know, is the 130 going to be enough or is it an 80 or a hundred? Uh, they'll work with you on that. Uh, they also, um, support also supports as goofy as that shit sounds, uh, all the stuff that they, that they sell. So Rotoboss, uh, Rotoboss Rotaries, Thunder Laser Support, will answer questions about them, that product. Um, they do not have pie burns so that they cannot, they really cannot answer your questions. They'll do their best, but specifically to the Roto Boss, same thing with the Chuck Rotary for the UVs uh, or the, the fiber, uh, they will support that as well. So uh, if you have aftermarket stuff or brands, they'll do their best, but there's no guarantees. Um, as we, most people know, it's a two-year warranty, uh, and support is great. If it's in warranty, they're going to ship it to you, or they're going to tell you where to get it um, and how to go about getting it. So uh, each and every one of them have machines. 
They may not all have the exact same machines, but they all have the machines, so you will get somebody that is knowledgeable on that specific machine. Um, they also have, what, you can go to wherever headquarters is and get a demo Texas. Uh, in Texas, you know, whatever city that is. Um, you can have demos done there. You can contact uh, Thunder and find out if there's something closer. I know for us, we open up our doors uh, for people interested in Thunder so that they can, you know, get a look and see or bring in test pieces um, just as a kind of a, a nicety to help them out. Uh, you know, it's not that, you know, trying to be part of the click or part of the cult or any shit like that, but, you know, they're good, good machines. Um, and as soon as they stop being good machines, I will find something better. Um, but for right now, this is what we use and this is what we're happy with. So uh, don't forget, you can ask sales or, you know, specifically sales or support or admin um, about the demo sites and things of that nature. I know they're working on an interactive map. Um, but then again, when I tell you they're working on it, there's only a handful of people that work in the, the, the U S office. Uh, so their time is valuable and spent doing a half a million things. Um, the more people that they hire, the cost will go up. So you got to understand that. So they're trying to keep it as small as possible. Um, if we understood it correctly, <laughs> you know, so, uh, again, you know, what are your thoughts on overall tech support? I think it's great. Um, sometimes email can be a little bit confusing because you'll get answers from more than one of the tech support. So you'll get an email and then 30 seconds, a minute later, you'll get another email from one of the other people. Um, so you just have to, to remember that it's more than one person answering you back um, and, and just kind of, you know, figure out from, from there, you know, what pieces to take from what. Um, but we've always been able to get the, the answers that we need. They may just be screwing with us, too. Okay, that could be. That, that's a complete possibility yes. for us. Yes, it, it could be. Is all of them email us at the same time to give different, different oh, things to try. Oh, look at you. Have fun. Um, but if that's the case... Uh, you know, it, it, it's all good. They're great guys, extremely knowledgeable. Um, so, you know, again, I don't know much about the sales team uh, to, to help you with that, but our experience with sales has been freaking fantastic. Mm -hmm. So, again, I, I hope you've learned something. I hope, you know, we've covered something. Feel free, uh, drop questions. I'll keep the comments open and try to answer your questions. Uh, in reality, you're welcome to subscribe. You're welcome to follow the channel or like or do whatever the hell you're supposed to do with YouTube. It doesn't make a shit of difference to us. Um, Come over to the Facebook page. Yeah, thank you. That's the one thing. So we started a Facebook group, uh, The Angry Craftsman, uh, with the intent of as our community builds, uh, we're going to look at doing mentorship programs uh, to, to kind of help. Now, realize this, that, you know, with, with our Facebook page, because we do a variety of things. There's, you know, lasers, CNC's, woodworking, 3D printing. Um, if I can drag my neighbors in and we got, we have vinyl and printing and t-shirts uh, and, and all the gambits of whether it's a home business or the crafty business or whatever the shit you want to call it. Um, so, but the goal is, um, for it to be more of the mentorship. Now, now that's we're not the place to come in and ask a, a simple question or like, what settings? You ask me what settings, I'm gonna tell you to run a dumbass, or I'm gonna call you a dumbass and I'm gonna tell you to run a material test card. So if that's not the group you wanna be in, then so be it, uh, I really don't care. Um, but if you want to learn the tips and tricks and how to operate these things to the best of their ability and your ability, uh, feel free and join us. Uh, again, you know, we'll do our best, but I'm about as blunt as can be. Um, and some of the other people in there are extremely uh, knowledgeable, but very blunt. So if that's what you're looking for, come on and join us. Uh, hopefully we can get you, get you hooked up with a good mentor. Uh, other than that, I uh, hope you've learned something and have a great day.